Okay, um, so the deck that I wanted to play today was just Miss for sorry, it was just Teemo Gangplank. Uh, I saw this one a little while ago from Fresh Lobster. Been using a couple of his decks recently because this guy is a man who enjoys playing Teemo. Intelligent guy, he really is. He also has a super nice mustache. Uh, you know, if you look at me, I'm a guy who can grow absolutely zero facial hair, so I'm honestly kind of envious. Uh, I will still say I am the best Teemo player in the fucking world, so... Don't, don't get me wrong, he's, he's not as good as me and Teemo. Uh, but, you know, he's better He's better than me growing a mustache for sure, because, I mean, this is one day for me. Can you guys see the facial hair growing? One day, yeah. But, you know, I'll always have Teemo being my best friend and the best champion in the game, uh, you know, kind of rocking with me. So, idea with this deck is you kind of have Teemo rocking out, you play a bunch of cards with Shrooms, uh, you do like your average peddler stuff. Obviously, there's no for Jellyord in this list, so you don't have the Seer to be a, the two drop kind of card that does synergize with the spells, buff up your deck as well. But what you have instead is you have access to more card draw with like Zap and the Salvage, which is really nice. And you also have big light game bombs with Gangplank, uh, you know, really crazy AoE for removing stuff on the board. A Riptide Rex in a very similar fashion does the exact same thing. And Dreadway. This card makes your shrooms deal double damage. So if your opponent draws one shroom, they take two damage from one shroom. If they draw 10 shrooms, they take 20 damage. <sighs> kind of insane. So that's kind of the main reason I wanted to actually play this deck is just right away plus shrooms. We're going to see if we can have any cool situations of that arise today. Okay. Well, I mean, there's really not too much to say here, gentlemen. I have a Teemo in my hand. Only question is whether or not to keep the Thermo for a uh, Maokai. I feel like Thermos is a good keep because they also run a lot of cards of challenge and the cards of challenge just say Teemo you die. And personally as a big fan of Teemo, I don't really like it when my friend dies. I actually I like it when my friends live for the most part. So I'm going to I'm going to work hard to keep my buddy alive. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. I'll scout ahead. Your shrooms work with Fun Smith. I don't know. Double all damage dealt by your skill, spells, and allies. I'm not really sure what a shroom is counted as. I feel like it wouldn't be a skill of yours. But if like the damage is doubled with Dreadway, then it would kind of make sense that Funsmith would double damage as well. But all digital athletes grow full beards? No, it's not a requirement for being a digital athlete. I really should have opened, I think. It didn't make any sense to play that. He can't play like elusive cards anyway, so to be fair, so it doesn't actually matter that much. Runaway bike. Uh, is it trading that good? I don't think it really matters. Let's keep it healthy. Oh no, Vile Feast. Oh no. Mm, crazy play, man. Oh. How unexpected. Ah. Uh, this five head player, maybe I should have just passed into that. Kind of a good look, honestly. That's also kind of a good look. Box of Slaughter. I don't like that card. It's kind of good. So if I rip this, I have three spell mana left over. I can go Wump and then a bunch of stuff next round. I don't always get the Nexus hit. It feels better than Chump Wump here. I think I like it more. Am I planning on doing that PowerPoint for the stream? Uh, I haven't lagged anything for it or thought about it. I might at the end, we'll see. I do need to pick that up and finish it though. It's definitely something that I need to work on. Um, especially because I have started to use Hinge a little bit more than I normally would recently. I stopped coming home for lunch because, like, it's fucking expensive to do that, dude. I realized that, like, driving, I don't know how many, like, 15 extra kilometers a day is just, like, a fucking waste of money because gas is expensive. So instead, I've been sleeping in my fucking van at work during lunch. It's great. I um, I send funny messages to girls for about 10 minutes, and then I take like a 40 minute nap, then boom, back inside. Finish the damp. That's how it goes. Hit him with it. Bang, bang. Okay. He's got some shrooms in the deck. So the only problem with this is he tosses the shrooms out of the deck when he tosses the cards. And then once he plays Nautilus, he puts a bunch of cards without Shrooms back in the deck. But 
I guess actually maybe. So I'm, I'm playing this with like the mindset that I would have playing Timo Sejuani. So yes, getting the GP level is nice, but it's probably not actually as crucial as I'm thinking it is. Wait, what? I mean, if I open for seven, it's not really good enough, but we do have a lot of reach. I think my play is play this still, because I can thermo something that uh, has five or less health. And then I do some more damage. That is confusion. I am guy who's very confused right now. Yeah, Runeisha could be it. Could be right. Think shrooms are bad when the enemy tosses the cards? No, no. Well, so the thing that you have to understand is good players just make it so even if they toss cards out of their deck, your opponent will still be drawing cards that have shrooms attached to them. Because if you're a good player, you will end up just shifting the cards of the shrooms to the top of your opponent's deck. And that's really what skilled individuals do in this game. And it's something that I would like to kind of pass on to you guys. I think it's an intelligent maneuver and one that I would really recommend doing. Now, if you feel like you can or you're not really there, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But you should work on it. I'm just gonna rip this here. I don't know if I want to salvage. Kind of doesn't do anything. Thermo also kind of doesn't do anything. Of salt and I think that I like this one. Is this Reno Priest? Oh, no. I have, uh, I have a non-Highlander deck. This is Teemo Gangplank. Can put him to five. Six, sorry, with this. I think I just float the two mana. I don't know if there's really a reason to. Like, I have what I want for my end game with Dreadway. I'm kind of just content with where I'm at for the most part. Okay, that's a low roll. That's a high roll. Kind of a high roll, at least. The triple thermogenic beam hand. Vava Viva. Insane. This guy is playing out of his mind. Does he pull the keg? Let's see. He does not. I feel like going to three is kind of a bad play. You can't do this. I think I like this play. Where I actually kill none of his cards, but I still make it rain. Oh, that's good, so he goes to five. You miss High Legend Pyre Warrior gameplay. We'll come back sometime. Mm, I touched Hearthstone like a month ago. Game's cool. The Teemo though, oh man. It's kind of fine. Teemo doesn't really connect though. Is it 12? He does do double damage, I guess. The Dreadway. The whole like Dreadway plus Gangplank thing is actually just so insane. Because you do way too much damage. All your cards like literally do double damage. The so Gangplank's like dealing 12. Even with like Nautilus in play, you have like the AoE that you do as well with him, so. That's not even flipped, wow. Kind of feels bad. Explosives! So nutty. Did I speak Japanese? Uh, no. I speak English poorly. Do a really great job at speaking poor English. So I wipe his board. Just bye bye. Let him bleed out. Make him scream. Yeah. Off with you. Where it goes bye bye. So he plays Vile Feast here, then I get punished hard for attacking. Kind of whatever there. I will not. Rex Toss hurts? I mean, the tossing doesn't really matter, right? They're always at the bottom of the deck anyways. Uh, it, it hurts to know, but it doesn't actually matter at all. Cool. I mean, that's just overall super beneficial for us. Really nothing bad to say here at all. Three Teemo Shrooms and his Jeej. Quite literally, so... Okay, well, don't don't tell him I'm, I'm fluent in all languages. Minus two, baby, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that's not gonna work for a while now. And I can do that. Maybe I just go double Dreadway instead. That feels more fun. 
Draw a shroom for me, please, my friends. I will advise you to draw a shroom. Okay, I will advise you to draw two shrooms. Oh, but he puts cards in his deck now, and he tosses more. No shrooms. That's sad. I, I want to kill my shrooms. I'm in a grief now. He obliterates my deck. Oh my god. No. Insane. My deck is obliterated. What will I ever do? I will shuffle some shrooms in his deck, I guess. I have no other plays, boys. That is all that I could do. Timo's lethal? Okay, yeah, who cares? Only pussies go for lethal here. Like, yeah, I won the game. We already know that, right? It's guaranteed. I win. I'm killing him with shrooms. Come on. <laughs> Classic 16 damage of the four shrooms, baby. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Man, Timo Puss Runway is nuts, dude. Let's go. Mono Demacia. Okay. I think I should keep this. That can plus Maker is kind of good. Thermo's kind of good. Gameplay's actually not bad. Let's be full keep. Yeah, double GP's bad. I like GP because of the guarantee. trade. Why yours mushrooms are dealing 16 damage? Okay. Because I have two Dreadways on the board. So my one damage mushroom is being doubled. One times two equals two. And then the second dreadway is then doubling it again. Two times two is four. I can prove this. I'm One times two here. is two. And then you double that again. It's four. And because he drew four shrooms, you then take the damage we figured out through our advanced calculation skills, and you then times it by four because he drew four shrooms to then deal 16 damage in total. I know it's confusing. I don't expect all of you guys to get it right away. Don't worry though. Because you know what? You get there one day and that's all that matters. You don't have to be there right away. You just have to be willing to learn. I feel like you should be able to get there at some point then. And you know what? That's good enough for me. Is this cheat? If I if I told you the real answer, I would have to ban you. So I think I'm going to abstain from answering that question. Hopefully you're okay with that. I will now develop the deck end, I think. Anyone else miss when Maker Rain was 2 mana? They realized how broken it was, so they're fine with it at 3. Good times. I think I still rip this. It's not very good here, but I have double thermo now for single targets, so I'm kind of okay with it. Bang bang. Oh block. 1 GP scaling. Oh my god, a Battlesmith, he baited me. Genius. Let's rip the triple thermal beam. Jesus. Uh, whatever card you play is going to be turbo buffs. So I think I'm take my two damage here. And then just go like Peddler plus Thermo 2-2. Oh my god. That's gross. Disgusting. Oh man. Um... Okay, this is definitely awkward. My heart and sword for Demacia. I guess I'm gonna block then thermo that. It's about as good as this gets, I think. I have to deal with those at some point because all of his top decks are just insane, but I have to kill this first. Mono Demacia players would never pass back here, dude. There's like 0% chance. Chance. We do what is right. It's common to have Brazilian viewers, my chat? I think it's common to views from everywhere in Magina. He actually passed back, that's insane. That's the biggest brain play I think that I've ever seen somebody playing this deck make ever. Insane. One, two, three, four. Respect though, honestly. I'll scout ahead. Okay. It's not actually a very good play. 
I just, I don't view Concerted Striking a Teemo worthwhile at all. Like, it just seems like that's not what he wants to do. Lose mana. His hand has to be filled with zero leads. Like, there's just no way that he's not developing them here. Makes zero sense. Dude, this is actually in a scenario where the nerf make it rain is terrible now. That's actually crazy. If I had one more mana, this would be such an insane turn with the make it rain. But because I don't, it's actually so bad. It makes even like Rex next turn really bad as well. It's super awkward. Spoke fast out of clips. Sorry, I did do that a lot. Yeah, I have a lot of different people watching me from all over the world. I think more so on YouTube and Twitch. Twitch is generally North American people, I think. For me, at least. Depends on uh, the time of the stream out, obviously, but I would say generally North American viewers are what I have on Twitch. What am I even doing here to get like, the rest is never online. This is actually super hard. But do this the other way around. My GP make it rain is pretty good. Best run while you can. No, because I need the keg. I was going to say I could just like keep the ganking alive and do this, but I need a, the second keg for this to be good. Otherwise, this is bad. Maybe if I just attack with Gangplank, then play Rex, it's fine too if I block like this. But the Rex isn't good because they're all at three. I think my plan was flawed. Percentage of females that watch me? Uh, I think 2% on YouTube. So probably actually like 0.5. One maybe, I don't know. What's up, Olive Oil Loop? What did I have for dinner today? I had a Starburst, a Sour Patch Kit Pack, some Nerds, and I forget the last thing. I don't remember what they were called. They look like rockets, but they're not rockets. Sour Tarts? Something like that? Candy, basically. Sweet Tarts, yeah. And two scoops of some super cheap Julia. cookies and cream whey. And homo milk. Wonderful dinner. It's great. What did you eat for dinner? It's four and you're watching. Nice. UK, Brazilian, Aussie, Mexican. Nice. Yeah, basically from all over the place. Yeah. I think like the most common place is just the States, probably. But other than that, I mean, people are just from everywhere. I feel like this Rex isn't even going to be good. Candy's best for muscle gain? Nah. <laughs> Candy's good for like a pre-workout though. Quick carbs are just always nice to do that. Jam some. Feel energized. Make our opponent rage quit, boys. I feel like that's quite bad for him that he let my gangplank hit. Maybe his mom is mad at him. Dud225, why are you playing elites? You already have Demacia maxed out. Go play something else. Oh, uh, nah, that works, man. Honestly, it's kind of nuts. Fist and Essence, good. Okay, well, Rex is pretty good. I'm gonna fish in a minute, man. I love some salmon. The only problem with salmon for me, I guess, like fish in general, is just the bones, man. They're a pain in the ass when you're eating. You have to, like, pick them out. I like um I like sashimi a lot, but I haven't really been to uh, any restaurants in a while. I guess Japanese restaurants, please. Paying attention to the election? Not really, no. I think the outcome matters, but I don't think that watching it's going to do anything. I don't really understand why people get super anxious about it. Like, I, I mean, I, I can understand if you're American for sure, but it, and there's obviously implications on the, like the U.S. election and for people from other countries as well, Canada included, because I guess we're so close, but. Like, there's literally nothing you can do about stuff like that. Uh, what's going to happen is it's going to happen. If people vote, they vote. If they don't, they don't. I mean, I mean, I know like a lot of people all over the world right now are super anxious about everything that's happening and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, if you're not American, I don't really, I, I can, I can kind of understand why, but it's just one of those things where you have like no control over. So there's not really a reason to sweat about it super heavily, if you ask me. It's so nice in Canada. It's okay. It's cold. I feel about Justin Trudeau ethics violation for the third thing. Not aware of it, honestly. 